Okay, today we're gonna do uh, oil change on a TYM T474. Uh, it is only at 23 hours currently, but winter is ahead and I'm going to install uh, a new filter with uh, Rotella T6 5W40, which will be much better for Montana winters where I'm located. I also have a snowblower on the back that will be the main weapon against snow this uh, winter. So now I'm, it's time to get the old break-in factory engine oil out of there. So. I'll uh, get prepared and uh, we'll continue this video. Hey, this is an oil change for a uh, TYM T474. There is two uh, drain plugs for the uh, on the Kukia A23 N2 engine. So of course, first warm it up and then it's a 17 millimeter key to get it or a socket or a wrench to get it off of there. I have now loosened the first and there comes the first part of the oil just put the plug aside it has an o-ring on it that you need to make sure you wipe off and reuse Hey, so this is how the uh, filter mount looks for the TYM T474. So as you see now, the, it has mating surfaces here for the gasket to seat. It's uh, a little bit lesser than the outer diameter. I put on, a, I tried to put on a filter which was a T1334 that the cross references on the internet kind of points to. They are wrong, however, because the diameter of this filter is much larger by about an inch. So I cross-referenced this Napa 1626 and that fits right onto this one and the exact same size as the uh, stock filter. I have now filled this with a uh, half way full of oil and I'm gonna put it on the, uh, <clears throat> that way you have some oil in the filter when you uh, get engine pre oil pressure here. I just get it on there hand tight. I might do another quarter of a turn with a wrench just to be sure. And now it's time to put the uh, plugs back in. I just wipe them off lightly. Make sure you don't cross thread. Always use turn them in by hand. There it's uh, tight. Now I just kind of get it snug, not really hard, probably there. All right, now let's fill up with Rotella T6 5W40. Just a confirmation, so this is the filter I'm using and the oil. I pour the oil in this can because it's easier to pour it in when you uh, put it in here where the uh, filler is for the oil. <clears throat> Let me uh, open the hood here. And of course, this is where you fill the oil. I have uh, previously filled uh, fil the new filter that is down there. Just put that aside. And now let's fill the oil. I might not be able to film this uh, while I'm filling. And then check your dipstick. See here, I need to put add an additional probably 0.175 uh, deciliters because uh, it takes 4.75 or a little bit over uh, five quarts. Now run it after you fill the oil. Let it run for five, 10 minutes and then check oil level again. Look a kitten with synthetic oil. 